Today I'm attempting to make nasi lamak with Malaysian sardines. Wish me luck. The last couple years have been full of so many unexpected twists and turns. Just as the wheel of fortune is always turning, there are no accidents. Everything that happens is meant to redirect us onto the path that we're truly meant to be on. And now, I invite you to join me as I leave the comforts of my hometown to embark on a new journey. Follow me on my next adventure. Hello, today I'm going to try to cook another Malaysian specialty. Guess what it is? Nasi Lamak, as per your suggestions in the comments. Nasi Lamak is Malaysia's official, unofficial national dish, and it is a delicious rice with coconut milk, pandan, lemongrass, and you just pair it with different fixings. It started as a breakfast food, and now it's served all the time. You can put whatever you want with it. So we're gonna do a couple classic Malaysian dishes that I've been wanting to try. Sardines, Nasi Lamak, and some other fixings. So let's go, wish me luck. Here's my ingredients and the recipes that I didn't follow properly are linked in my descriptions. And I've only got two pots because this is not my place. First, we're going to have to prepare the fixings, the side dishes, and then we will make the rice as well as the sardines, and then we will feast. Wish me luck. First things first, let's get these bad boys in the water and let them boil. I like a well done egg, so once it starts to boil, I cook them for 10 minutes, but if you want it a little bit less cooked, just cook it less time. It seems to love peanuts on the side, so I'm definitely gonna do that, but I saw one of the recipes has a little trick where you saute them up with some oil and some sugar, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's prep these babies. I really did have high hopes for these bad boys, but hmm, didn't work out the way I hoped. A bit of sugar. Fry these up. I think I maybe put a little bit too much oil, but I'm not sure. It smells fantastic though, I've got to say. So they're already kind of burning. <laughs> I think I gotta maybe put them a little bit um, lower heat. Okay, maybe I have to take them off actually. Um, yeah, I'll take those off. We're not off to a very good start. <laughs> I had to pick through them and take the least burnt ones. Hmm, I think there's probably a better or easier way to do that. Hmm. While the eggs are boiling, I'm gonna measure out the rice so we can wash it. Uh, I've only got one pot, so they gotta take turns. Better if it's in a rice cooker, but obviously I don't have a rice cooker here, so we're gonna use a pot and a lid. And I've only got one pot, so we'll do this while the eggs are cooking. And they said for a stove top, you do one to one and then add an extra cup, half cup of water. And then obviously we'll add the coconut milk after. So I'm gonna do, it says to do three cups. So I'm gonna use this as my cup, one. Um, and these are not big enough, so I have to do them separately in two different bowls. And then actually maybe I'll just do two, two cups. That's what I'll do and we'll wash these. Give them a good wash. I'll let this soak for a second. Okay. The other one. You just want to rinse it until the water runs pretty clear. Drain that. Oops. Our eggs are done and they're all cracking. Today is really not going my way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know what's going on today. Everything's going wrong. They're all cracked. It's okay. They'll still taste good. So we have to mix all the ingredients, the pandan, the lemongrass, the water and the coconut milk, get that to a little simmer, and then we will add the rice, top her up and let her cook, and pray for the best because I've never been able to cook rice properly. So I'm a little bit worried, especially considering how things have been going today so far. One, two. So it's said to do one to one and then add another half cup. And then 
coconut cream. This is definitely a nice thick one. I really like this one. This is the only brand of coconut cream I've tried in Malaysia, but it is like so much better than the one in Canada. It doesn't even compare. So you guys are lucky over here. I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, from my experience, it tastes way better here. So we're gonna do half a cup of the coconut milk. Yum. And then we're gonna add one hand and leaf. I'm actually gonna do two because I like it a lot. Oh, oh, okay. You just kind of like tie it into a knot so it's easy to pull out after. And then we'll also prep the one lemongrass. Oh, danger. Okay. Yeah, so you have to bruise this to let the scent out. Just be careful if you're using the knife. I'm gonna add the lemongrass and the pandan. And we will let this come to a simmer and then we'll add the rice finish chopping the garnishes that we're gonna have with it. And again, you can have whatever you want, but cucumber, peanuts, and eggs is pretty standard. So we're gonna go with that today, along with the sardines. The best way to peel them is to hit the bottom so that the whole membrane separates so they're a bit easier to peel. Let's see. Ooh, this is hot. hot, 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 hot. I wonder why they all separated like this today. Weird. When you hear that snap, that's when you know it worked. Perfectly well done boiled eggs. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Put those there. Uh, cut up this cucumber. Let's be fancy and do that thing where you take off some of the skin and then it looks like it's decorated. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like this. Smells so nice and fresh. Put these here for now. <laughs> See how they're kind of like <laughs> fancy? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> it doesn't look that cute, but. A for effort. <laughs> okay, so here's our garnishes ready to go. And now for the rest. Okay, so this is starting to simmer. And can I tell you, it smells absolutely divine. Beautiful, gorgeous. So we'll just let that get to a boil and then we will add our rice and let it simmer for five minutes. And then we'll put the lid on and let it cook a little bit more. Okay, so she's boiling. Now we're gonna add our two bowls of rice. Wait, did I put three? No, I only put two. Two cups, did I? Okay, so now we're gonna give this a little mix. Get it back to a nice simmer, and then we'll turn the heat down. Okay, now we've got it at a gentle simmer. We're gonna give it a little stir so the coconut milk doesn't get stuck at the bottom. We're gonna put the lid on and give her five minutes. This is my Nasi Lamak dance, N-A-S-I-L-E-M-A-K. See, I do know how to spell it. <laughs> it's a typo, guys, a typo. I've got it very, very low, but it still seems to be boiling over. But this is the only size pot I have, so hopefully it stays in there now. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Okay, it's been five minutes, so now we have to just give her a little stir. And do another five minutes with the lid on. Beautiful. It smells fantastic. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Five more minutes.
It's been five minutes and we have to actually not open the lid and we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes and then we will open it up and fluff it. So don't open the lid. <laughs> so there's loads of different styles of sardines. So we need garlic. And he didn't really write how much of everything. So I'm again, just winging it. <laughs> just winging it, get it? <laughs> Ginger. Spicy chile. This is kind of a big one. Um, let's see. There's like little ones bigger ones. I'm going to go with this big one. I don't know how spicy it's actually going to be. Should I put more than one? That makes me a little bit nervous. I think I'll just go one so I don't ruin it. If this is spicy. That's really spicy. So yeah, we'll just go one. <laughs> I need curry leaves. Mmm, that's nice. They're kind of dry. I don't know if they're supposed to be dry or if that's because I didn't use them fast enough. I really actually have no idea, but hmm, I don't know. That might be too much or it might be the perfect amount. I'm really not sure. And then we have to slice an onion or a shallot and I've only got this onion. So hopefully that is okay. It looked like it was quite thin, so we'll try to do it pretty thin. These are the ingredients that we're gonna need for the sardines. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Now for the moment of truth. So you're just supposed to fluff it. Fluff. Oh, very nice. It feels a little bit um, sticky, maybe. I'm not sure. We will just put this on and make the sardines. Well, so we're gonna start by putting in the ginger, the garlic, curry leaves, and peppers. We're just gonna fry that all up. Hopefully we can make a little bit of a comeback from earlier. <laughs> now I'm gonna add the onions and let those brown. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the spice is definitely coming up to my throat. <laughs> So this is definitely browning up. Now let's add the sardines. Ooh. You might want to break the fish up a little bit. I added a little touch of water and now some lemon juice. And a little bit of lime or lemon juice. And I got this really funky looking one. Wow. Because I've never seen it before. So let's give this a try. Mm, funky. This actually smells much more fragrant than normal. So hopefully it's okay to use this. Yeah, these are interesting. They, they they smell very, very fragrant. They don't smell like a lime to me. They don't smell like a lemon. It almost smells like cleaning product. 
definitely tastes like citrus, but it's got a different flavor, so hopefully it doesn't ruin it. Have you guys tried this before? I don't know what it is. Okay, I feel like this is looking good. It's nice and thick now. I think we're good to go. Okay, let's see if I can do this properly. Fluff the rice. I feel like this. Let's see. Please, please, please. Yay, I did it! This is the biggest plate I have. Let's see if I can. Okay, so here it is. I've got the nasi lamak, the sardines, the egg, the cucumber, the peanuts, and the sambal. What do you think? It looks okay. I mean, I'm using what I have here, so let's try this. Okay, so now for the moment of truth. That was very difficult. Things didn't go my way, but let's see. Let's dig into this. The texture is better than I thought because normally I either make it undercooked or overcooked. Not as good as Wanjo, but not bad for my first time. Let's try these sardines. Are they gonna, oh, this plate is way too small. The sardines, I'm a fan. I've just been eating them straight out of the can, but this is like next level. <laughs> so easy too. Uh-oh. The only thing I don't like is that it really is fragrant when it's cooking, so not a fan of that. Let's get some sambal on there, on the rice. Mmm, nice. Spicy. Cucumber to cool off the spice, because I'm dying. Don't worry, I survived. Mm. That is spicy sambal. It's burning. Woo. Goes in for more. Mm. I'm literally obsessed with these sardines. Oh my gosh, if you have another recipe for sardines, please send it over. So good. Mm. The rice, it's a little bland. So I don't know. Maybe I didn't, and I even put less rice than they called for. So I wonder how I can get it more flavorful. I feel like it's missing something. It's nice with the, the fish though. The fish is um, kind of, it almost tastes like sweet, salty, tangy, fishy. <laughs> this is good. And then the sambal, I'm not crazy about this one. I think this one's made with maybe sardines. Um, and then my burnt nuts, oh yeah. Oh, see, it doesn't even want to be eaten. Mm -mm, this one's better. Mm. The nuts with the fish and the rice. Fire. It's really good. Maybe I'm missing something. I know I didn't put salt, but the sardines are very salty. Spicy, but, but good. Did you see that? I just ate that whole chili, like two pieces. Wow. Okay, not too bad for my first try. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your likes and shares so much. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to be part of the next adventure. And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of. You can follow me at the original cutie pie.